Good afternoon and welcome to a little bit closer to home back in the Lake District. The hill behind me uh, is Clough Head which um, overlooks Blencathra but also has quite a nice view over towards Keswick and some late afternoon sun and I've uh, been tracking the weather today it's really changeable and uh, some nice dark clouds and what I'm hoping uh, it's about six o'clock in the evening I'm hoping as the sun starts to come down, we'll get some lovely sun rays over towards Keswick and Grisdale Pike over that way. So I'm not going all the way to the top of Clough Head. Uh, there is a shoulder above the mine here, which I've never been to before, but um, pretty sure there should be some pretty good views from up there um, over towards uh, Keswick, as I say. So I'm going to have a scoot up there, late afternoon dog walk. Got a bit of water on board, bag, waterproofs, and uh, yeah, we'll get up there and see what it looks like. The light on the mountains in the background is really nice, but uh, I could do with a bit of light on this foreground, sort of over to at town and where Castle Rig Stone Circle is, because the foreground's just a bit dark. So, uh, just a question of waiting, I think. Uh, sun's going to be dropping, so hopefully at some point we'll get all this valley bathed in light, which is what I'm after, and then hopefully we'll be uh, cooking on gas. Yeah, I'm interested in this uh, copse of trees just along here uh, and getting up above them so I can get these sun rays hopefully over there with the trees in the foreground. So I'm going to need to head up onto this ridge line over here. Um, so we'll just uh, negotiate our way down and then uh, head over that way. So I've got back here and this is, yeah, it's quite nice but this little ridge line in front of the trees is ruining this shot really. Even though there's some quite nice light behind it doesn't work for me. Um, I think the uh, the trees being dark and not quite see the bottom of it, it just doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to this ridge line here where I'll get a decent view into the valley in St John's in the Vale and then I'll have the view on all the time so if the light kicks off I'll always have a shot. So I'm going to head over to that ridge there so I can see where I'm going and then I'm going to head up um, keeping the view in sight. I just want to explain my rationale for this shot, why I'm waiting for it and why I think it's so nice. Um, you can see the ri river bending around to the right hand side of this house and it snakes down here. And there's a temptation I think to shoot this in landscape orientation to include that full bend as it comes round. The trouble is over the top of this bend there's like a, a bit of a dead fell and then another fell with nothing really interesting and then the fells in the distance. So the mid ground is quite bare of attention and I think it'll leave the image quite unbalanced. Most of the interest is on this line where this snake comes up to the house, uh, where you come up here, then there's a, another little house in the church on the ridge. There's a bit of light in the valley which helps and some trees uh, and then you've got a lovely sort of regression of hills and mountains in the background. So for me, this is a portrait shot all day long. Ignore this bit of bend here because I think it's a distraction. And I think the landscape image, and I probably will take it just to show you, will be too unbalanced with too much dead space in this right hand side of the image. So I'm still going to hang around. You can see there's, there's light in the valley in there, the next valley down. I just need a little bit of luck with it spilling over the top of this fell to hit this house. And I'm going to wait for it because I think it's worth waiting for. So whilst I waited for the light to spill across the valley in the hope that it would reach the small house with the bend in the river, I spent a little bit of time relaxing, capturing moments of light as it spilled through the valleys, came across the hills, lighting up the trees and the farmland. It was quite a pleasant way to spend an afternoon. And 
here's a few images that I managed to capture whilst I was sat waiting for an hour, waiting for my little farmhouse to light up. Sadly the light never actually hit the farmhouse, just the surrounding fields, but it was still quite a nice image to capture. Well, that was an amazing hour or so. Really enjoyed that. Um, and hopefully, well, there's got to be some good shots in there somewhere. God, even I couldn't have messed that up. Could I? <laughs> it's just glass light, really nice. Um, sun's down below the clouds now, you can see, and I've um, got quite a walk down, so I'm, I'm just going to sort of start walking back slowly. Um, I'm fortunate that the route I'm going down maintains the view all the way down, so. You know, still could be a possibility for getting some more shots as I come down. Just looking at the different layers and things that are presenting themselves. But uh, you can tell I've got my hat on, it's quite cold. It's starting to get quite cool now. Um, so just dropping down from my uh, viewpoint. It's quite sad that I didn't get that shot with the house with it lit up. But there's quite a lot of shots with light around it. So I might be able to do something to, uh, to make that look decent. But some good panels in there and the light on the all the skidar and yeah really good stuff so i'm mosey on down and then if i see anything else worth um cracking over to show you i'll uh, i'll click it back on so i'm down quite a bit now and uh, the last of the light is about to uh, go behind skidar and i will be plunged into darkness so um i'm going to call that a wrap for today um quite a short vlog um really all ended up in one place uh, or, you know a couple of places but uh, yeah hopefully some nice images there so uh, thanks for joining us hit the like button if you've liked it subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more and until next time see you later folks